Well, no longer work for Peterbilt, so I brought my stuff home Friday to get it cleaned up and ready for my new job tomorrow. So I figured I'd do a quick tour. Got some new stuff in here, so let's get started. Got the Blue Point 87 set master torque bit set laid out. Torques, Allens, Deeps, E Torques. These are Tractor Supply, AutoZone, Harbor Freight, and these are Harbor Freight, and my Husky L Keys. Everything else in here is Blue Point. Miscellaneous socket, um, starter sockets back there. Uh, miscellaneous extensions, ratchets, and some extensions. Uh, great pneumatic stuff, works real good. Husky, mm, Matco, same stuff as before. Uh, a couple new adapters, the Mac three quarter one inch adapter and Mac three quarter to half inch. My little baby sledge, the Mac anti-vibes, my little pecker, and my brass hammer. Blue points. 31-piece chisel set, or punch set, I'm sorry. A few little drifts and punches and stuff I beat on in there. Electrical drawer. One set. Each set has some different stuff in it, so I got both of them. Little jumper wires, matte test lights, Dremel. Keep it in my power probe case. Matco depinning set. Uh, for my little torch for heat shrink. Soldering. Mostly where I do my paperwork, but the ADT 22 piece axle nut set. cases these work real good on uh, transmission pulleys I mean transmission bearings then I got a cheap Harbor Freight oil pressure tester uh, dial caliper Mac large truck the Mac vac, uh, air cooling refiller the uh, radiator adapter system for a big truck air lifts vacuum uh, system uh, cleaner engine lube my oil for drilling Another can of brake clean, copper coat, and thing of lube. That's just a uh, little set from AutoZone. Has a bunch of little bits and stuff in it. Down here, got some new stuff in here. Uh, miscellaneous transmission gaskets, ABS computer. The left uh, left side axle two wheel sensor is bad in this computer. That's why I have it. Miscellaneous nuts and bolts. Miscellaneous parts. 
little small inverter for test drive, hook the computer up to it. Some good sensors, makes uh, testing a little bit easier, good light. The Pittsburgh radiator pressure tester. Cut the end of where the hand pump is, cut that off. Put a couple of fittings together with an air regulator. And now it's a air, um, now it's air system instead of a pump system. My sliding hammer for popping out um, bearings. My little jack for jacking up cabs. My mat three quarter torque wrench. Just a plain piece of pipe, but it works good for knocking in bearings. My Easy Red extendable three quarter inch ratchet. Mac multiplier, uh, four to one multiplier, thousand foot pounds. Uh, let's see here, three jaw puller, bigger three jaw puller, some extra bearings I've cut to uh, use them to knock stuff in and out with. Second drawer, my pliers drawer. I have the Mac pinch offs. These things work real good. The Matco plastic ones. Don't waste your money. They are junk. Lug nut puller, wire cramper, vice grips of different sizes, 90 degree, 45 degree long needle nose, hose pliers. Those are tractor supply, some more vice grips, channel locks, and a big pair of snap-on needle nose. <clears throat> vice grips, snap-on, snap-on. These are icons and part store pair of, of um, snap ring pliers. Got two benders, flaring kits, pipe cutter, pair of dikes, 10 snips or Milwaukee, extra strap wrench, and my loose snap on snap ring pliers. My speed drawer, aka junk drawer. These are all fittings that I made for bypassing airbags and doing other kind of miscellaneous nonsense. My tire drawer, miscellaneous screw bits, Cajun pins, miscellaneous brass fittings, Teflon tape, tire chucks, and this miscellaneous junk right there. Over here, got some extra radiator pins. These do, if you work on a ISX, you need to pin the uh, block. The radiator pins do work good for that. Miscellaneous drill bits, pocket screwdrivers, eyeball clutch boat. Um, on endurance transmissions, the boats to help you line them up with. Some other miscellaneous junk. More air fittings, air regulators. And this is the Y. Uh, YF1234 adapters for my gauges, pocket thermometers, can taps, Schrader valves, my uh oh, I fucked up drawer. Got a corded Ryobi. Sawzall, blades, Mac drill bits, center pump, Matco's big tap and die set. I love that tap and die set. Right here is pipe thread tap and dies.
another full set of pipe thread taps. And those two are Harbor Freight. My Mac, my Mac drill with my air regulator so I can control how fast it spins. Matco turbo sockets. Snap on screw extractors. Matco square extractors. And these are uh, a knock sensor and a PM sensor rethreader. And back here, Mac left hand drill bits, the carbide bit set, and the Mac screw extractors. So easy to pull all this stuff out, such a pain in the dick to get it all to go back in. Good enough for government work. I said it was, damn it, go in there. Door number two, specialty tools. Rear main uh, plastics for ISX Cummins. Boats for, I have no damn earthly idea what I got these for, but I got them for something or another. Eating endurance, um, input shaft tip bearing, removal, VGT, Cummins wedges. I have one of my little tools I made for transmissions. Barring tool for a pack R, the seven mil for Cummins, barring tool for cat, cat injector height, 60 series Detroit injector heights, uh, cat, val um, val uh, preset for the um. 30 mil on the valves. My Cummins for the uh, gear train. My cam pullers. Cam gear puller on the Cummins. Over here, miscellaneous boats of stuff I've put together. Boats for sliding rear ends out to reseal them. The clutch boats on an endurant Cummins exhaust studs. So I cut heads off to make them easier to line up on. Pack R exhaust manifold studs. Snap ons. Filler gauge set. Try to get the glare off of it. My two and three sixteenths. Rear ends on pack cars. Headlight, more filler gauges, different air fittings for airing trucks up, different stuff, different sockets and stuff for drive shafts, U joint puller, different stuff for checking trailers out, airing them up, locking them off. Personal drawer. Okay, starting in the back, we got Blue Point Gear Wrench, Stubby Blue Point Gear Wrench, some Husky Offset Line Wrenches. These are actual Gear Wrench gears. Snap, 
snap on link draw plus wrenches and then instead of the Pittsburgh long wrenches up top we have a set of the flare nuts and those are standard flare nuts these are metric snap-on flare nuts some oddball wrenches there uh rigid pipe wrench husky pipe wrench harbor freight's uh belt tool which ain't really worth a crap right here we got matco's strip um strip head remover wrenches these things are bad ass if you get a hold of a boat that's rounded off and you can't get a socket on it these are the things to have there's metric and standard back here behind that we have the sun x come on focus there you go four-way wrenches metric and standard back there in the back tucked away over there we have Pittsburgh standard long swing wrenches gear wrench standard wrenches I got an oddball Matco three quarter for brake chambers I have the mountain same thing as the uh, platinum flexible spline drives. Set of V8 stubby standards. Can't put a whole lot of torque on a stubby, so I couldn't see going with a big brand for them. I got crescent wrenches. Snap on inch and an eighth. Do it best, true value, inch and a quarter. And then I have the ADT tools, one and a 15 16th wrench. up to the two inch wrench. Next is my screwdriver slash what the hell ever drawer. Snap on remote starter, two tire bars, a uh, decent size pry bar, Miscellaneous screwdrivers, my impact screwdriver, blue point bit set, Sun X bit set, scraper, Matco's index and pry bars, a couple heel bars. The I think these are designed for breaking body molds, uh, welds on them, but it works good for cracking rear end housings open. Carbide scraper for Matco. Some razor scrapers, some panel poppers. Got these snap-on radiator hose picks. Miscellaneous razor blades, 100-foot tank mesh for trailers. The snap-on little hockey puck O-ring things. Snap-on screwdriver set. My wife's makeup mirror works real good though for getting around and seeing stuff. I got the snap-on straight pry bar, uh, Matco standard pry bar. Got the four-piece snap-on striking end pry bars. The snap-on big half-inch breaker bar. Uh, snap-on half-inch locking extension. And these are just some cheap 
um, part store long extensions, three inch and a half inch. Time for the money. My YF one, two, three, four AC gauges. A gray pneumatic set from a 19. To the big 50. Three quarter drive. We got Matco deep 12 points. This is gray new. Uh, these are Mac 12 point from 10 mil to 36 and 12 point. Matco Silver Eagle 3.8 set, Snap-on 3.8 impact, Silver Eagle 3.8 chrome, Snap-on 3.8 impact, a few little eight point plug sockets, Home Depot spline drive, metric and standard, and here's some oddball husky half inch. My 3 8 tech angle. Torque wrench. With a few little torque adapters on there for that. The Harbor Freight orange handle hammer everybody's got. Over here we got Mac. 3 8 impacts. 3 8 uh, swivels 3 8 deep well this is husky half inch drive sockets these are husky half inch deep sockets in standard part store 3 8 drive deep wobbles a uh, set of matco 3 8 short sockets i found them in a pawn shop for like 20 bucks so i bought them these are Home Depot half inch short sockets. These are Mac half inch wobble sockets. And these are uh, Matco half inch drive um, deep sockets. These are, I believe, Matco Silver Eagle standard set. Short three eighths and the deep three eighths. I got Husky three quarter drive sockets there. My Mora knife, snap on uh, stud extractor and installers, metric and standard. Little metal clips for my rails when they come up missing. Duralast quarter inch drive socket set. Some Huskies that are missing to make them a full set. Matco's. Uh, half inch CV axle socket set for bigger sizes. And that's pretty much it on this box.